What's going on, Giants fans? Welcome back to another episode of G Nation. And we have breaking news for you today um, about the owner slash president of the New York Football Giants. Um, it is devastating. Um, and, and before we unpack that, I'm gonna ask you guys to go ahead and sack that subscribe button, tackle that thumbs up button, and if you've been itching for a touchdown, go ahead and share my videos. Hopefully, somebody will catch it. But um, let's let's get right into it. Um, breaking news: the owner and president of the New York Football Giants, um, John Mara, uh, has been indicted. Um, with three very serious counts, uh, no telling how this is going to turn out, um, but it, it's not looking good for the organization. Uh, this this can end very very badly. Um, the the fan base is 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 going to be shocked. The, the football world is going to be in upheaval um, once this all comes out, and, and uh, I mean it, it's just devastating. But, but let's let's get into the charges and, and uh, it reads as follows. Um, president and owner of the New York Football Giants, John Mara, is being charged with three counts of negligent homicide. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, three counts of negligent homicide. Um, count one being the hiring of Jason Garrett, killing the New York Giants team. Count two being the keeping of Jason Garrett for a second season, killing the fan base. And count three, uh, not getting rid of Dave Gettleman, it's killing the franchise. So uh, there you have it, folks. Those are your three counts of negligent homicide. One, killing the fan base. Two, killing the team. Three, killing the franchise. Uh, and, and I believe I read somewhere else where there was a conspiracy to commit murder by hiring Chris Mara, uh, who knows absolutely nothing about football. And there's also been a charge of um, aggravated assault with intent to cause uh, bodily injury to the fan base. And that's an old, old charge, which, which uh, should have been filed years ago for pushing out Tom Coughlin. Um, you, you assaulted the fan base. You assaulted uh, season ticket holders. You assaulted guys. Who, who live out of the New York market and, and have to find ways to stream and, and Sunday ticket and all that just to watch their team, the New York football giants. Uh, you have assaulted and offended and disrespected and totally neglected to uphold and honor the tried and true traditions of the New York football giants, which was started by the late great Wellington Mara. Um, you, sir, have failed and... Uh, you have failed miserably, and the fan base is completely tired of it. We won't hear any more of it. Garrett has got to go. Gettleman has got to go. Now, I'm okay with keeping Judge and Patrick Graham for another year, but uh, if you don't get rid of Jason Garrett and promote Freddie Kitchens, ain't no telling how this fan base is going to turn on you. Because you, 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 you are committing treason after treason after treason on the New York football giants. You pushed Coughlin out. You hired Macapoo, who stunk, okay? Then you didn't give Sherman enough time, Shermer enough time. Even though he wasn't a good head coach, he was brilliant as an offensive-minded coordinator. And he got the best out of Daniel Jones. Then you bring in Jason Garrett with his 1989 offense, who has not evolved or changed with the times at all, and expect him to be some miracle worker. Get out of here with that, man. The game has passed you by. Either you need to let Tish run operations, or you need to just do something. You, you, you're not good at your job, bro. You're not good at your job. If, you, if we could fire you, you'd be gone. 
Your decisions in the last 10 years have been horrible. And I blame everything that has happened to this team squarely on you. Squarely on you. Because nobody in New York wanted Jason Garrett as their freaking offensive coordinator. We didn't want him anywhere near our field. If you notice, he got fired from Dallas for stinking up every field they stepped on for the last 10 years. And you bring him over here thinking he's going to be some miracle worker. If this was the 1700s, we'd be at your door with torches and pitchforks. G Nation, until next time, man. Sack that subscribe button. Tackle that thumbs up button. Share my videos. Leave any comments, thoughts, ideas, or opinions in the comment section below. That's how you help me out with the YouTube algorithm. But as always, G Nation, until next time.